For most people, handling pressurized tanks of hydrogen is a new experience. So in this video, we will be sharing the do's and don'ts of handling the drone tank. First, I want to discuss the hydrogen itself. Hydrogen is a naturally occurring gas that is colorless, odorless, flammable in certain concentrations, non-toxic and non-poisonous, and is the smallest and lightest of all known elements. That makes hydrogen more difficult to detect than other flammable gases like propane and methane. Those gases can have an odorant added to the gas to help detect their presence. That's that familiar rotten egg smell. Since hydrogen is so light and rises so rapidly, there is no method to attach an odorant. This is why it is recommended to store hydrogen outside in the unlikely event a drone tank were to leak. Overall, hydrogen gas is no more or less dangerous than gasoline, propane, or methane gases, which more people are aware of from a do's and don'ts perspective. And now a little bit about the tank itself. The hydrogen you will be handling is stored within the drone tank at high pressure, at around 5,000 PSI. The tank has been designed and passes tests for up to two and a half times that pressure, which is more than enough safety margin. The tank is made of carbon fiber that can withstand a direct hit with a high caliber rifle round. The pressure is so high in the drone tank to allow more hydrogen to be stored, which equates to the longer flight times of the DMI drone. There is approximately 105 cubic feet of hydrogen within the tank when it is full. There are no normal instances where you will be coming into contact with the hydrogen directly, so let's discuss the do's and don'ts of handling the drone tank, either during storage handling or insertion of the drone itself. Observe the surroundings in which the tank is stored, used or handled to avoid areas that could cause you to trip. Treat the drone tank as an important and integral part of the drone. Without the tank, the drone is only a large model. Secure the tank from theft. Carbon fiber tanks are much more expensive than the steel tanks used for propane. Store the drone tank or tanks in the plastic trays provided by DMI and use those same trays to transport the tanks from one location to another using the handles in the tray. However unlikely this is to happen, if you hear hydrogen escaping from the drone tank for any reason, maybe after a crash or dropping the tank, just move away from the tank at least 20 feet and wait for the hydrogen to escape completely. It will rise and disperse quickly and does not harm the environment. Due to the low amount of hydrogen in the tank, the risk of combustion is very low. As always, in case of a fire, call 911. Visually inspect the tank and valve for any damage, deep scratches, loose connections, and or other anomalies prior to using a drone tank. Continue to use the drone tank after flight if moisture or condensation appears on the tank. As the pressure in the tank drops, the temperature also drops and this moisture is normal. Store the drone tank or tanks in well-ventilated areas and preferably outside and away from potential ignition sources like furnaces, electrical panels, and space heaters. If any anomalies are found, immediately contact your dealer for further instructions. Now for the don'ts. Do not store, use, or handle the drone tank within 25 feet of open flames, including cigarettes. Remember, hydrogen is flammable. Do not store the drone tank in your car, truck, or van, or in direct sunlight, especially in the summer. The pressure in the tank is directly proportional to the tank's temperature. The higher the temperature, the higher the pressure inside the tank. Do not attempt to inhale the hydrogen from the tank. Most people have inhaled or seen others inhale helium for what it does to your voice, but hydrogen acts as an asphyxiant, not a voice tuner. Keep the drone tank away from children. It is not a toy. Never ever try to remove the valve from the drone tank. The valve is torqued to the specifications listed on the side of the drone tank. Loosening the valve while under pressure could cause serious injury or even death. It is necessary to keep the valve free of dirt and debris to prevent contaminating the fuel cell within the drone. Do not carry a drone tank by the valve. The valve is not a handle. Handle the drone tank by its body instead or carry it in one of the DMI provided plastic trays. Do not attempt to perform repairs of a damaged drone tank as damaged drone tanks need to be recertified by a licensed professional. It is easier to get an understanding that handling the drone tanks is relatable to your own past experience storing, handling, and using a flammable material. Following these instructions will ensure a safe experience. Thank you for your attention and happy flying.